hello guys you're welcome back to our channel today we are going to be conducting an experiment to apply the principle of moments now this is a follow-up video to some of the videos that you can see in our channel and in today's experiment i have with me a one meter row so this is a complete one meter row from end to end here and then I have with me a knife edge and then I have an unknown mass which is labeled M this unknown mass for this set experiment it's about 55 grams and then I have known masses which I'm going to be starting with a mass of 40 gram now these are all 20 20 grams that I'm going to be slotting in the process of the experiment and then I have a loop of wire this loop of wire is just to help me um, uh, uh, be able to hold the masses on the meter room during the experiment now what is the procedure I believe you can see the drawing which is what we are going to set up immediately now the procedure is that we will first determine the center of gravity of this meter room now this is a uniform meter rule our expectation is that the center of gravity would be at the 50 cm mark however sometimes it is not exactly at that point so don't assume that it is as exactly at 50 so you would have to carry out the experiment in order to determine the exact cg or the center of gravity before carrying on with your experiment now when you get that point you note it down and record it center of gravity is equal to the 50 cm and then we can now continue with our experiment now what are we expected to do in this particular experiment after getting the center of gravity as a cg now the 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 meter room must be at that particular point throughout the experiment so ensure that you take care to to make sure that the center of gravity the meter room does not slide away from the 50 cm mark all through the experiment and when you have done that we would put this unknown mass in the question will be given the particular point to hang in this in this experiment we are going to hang in this mass starting from the 20 cm point here is the 20 cm so i'm going to hang in this unknown mass at the 20 cm and then i'm going to hang in the 40 gram mass from this other end of the meter room now from this other end i'm going to adjust it there's no particular point at which i can i, I should hang this now all I'm trying to do is that I would find the point where I am going to get equilibrium. So by the time I adjust this particular mass, this known mass, and achieve stability on the knife edge, I will now record the distance from this known mass to the balance point, which is our 50. I will record it as my Y. I will use Y, the distance from here to here. And then the distance already, which we have been given the question, from 20 cm to the center of gravity which is about 50 cm will also be recorded as x so by the time i repeat the experiment for other other points i will use masses um, 40 50 60 70 and 80 as the case may be and then i would get the y this one is fixed the x is fixed all through the experiment so by the time we finish we we'll tabulate our reading and then i would um, use the table to explain some theories that are connected to the experiment i believe that you should be able to attempt it with this simple explanation however i'm going to show you by way of practical all that i've explained to you so to go through it first of all i am going to confirm that my center of gravity is at the 50 cm mark so here we are you can see the meter room horizontally hung here from one end to another so here is what i have so if you check the balance point you will note that the balance point at this is at point 50. so you look at it here you can see that the the balance point is at point 50 look at the knife edge so my center of gravity is at 50. so i will take note of this center of gravity and record it as 15. Having achieved this, remember that this is meant to be static all through the experiment. Now I'm going to hang in the known mass M, unknown mass M 
at the 20 cm mark and then a 40 gram mass from the other end and adjust it so having set up that you can see here so i'll show you what i've been able to do now so here is the center of gravity still fixed or the balance point at the 50 cm mark still fixed now here is the known unknown marks hung at the 20 cm mark you can see it here freely suspended at the 20 cm mark and then from this other end i have also adjusted the known mass this is a, a a 40 gram mass hung now it's been adjusted and i can see that the balance uh, the point of equilibrium was achieved when it was hung at 0.91 so here is 0.91 the you can see that the, the setup is horizontally set up you can see that it is horizontal so this is what i have here right so now that i've achieved equilibrium all i'm going to do is to find the distance from this point to this uh, point or the center of gravity now i have 91 here and here is also 50 it means that y the distance here is 91 minus 50 which is going to give me 41 centimeters so i'm going to record that and then change this mass to 50. all i'm just going to do is just to add an extra 10 gram so here here is a 10 gram mass so i'll just add it to make it up to 50 and then repeat adjust it again and find the balance point all right so here i am again the second state set you can see my center of gravity there completely so you have to take note to always observe to avoid being uh, for avoid avoid this slitted away from the 50 cm mark because it's going to definitely affect your result here is also um the 20 cm mark where this is fixed completely all through the experiment and then at the right hand side i've put in my 50 gram mass so here is 20 20 10 that's 15 and then you can see that the point that i achieved equilibrium is at point 83.6 six approximately so you can see the setup here balanced horizontally right so this is what i have here it's balanced horizontally so i'm going to now make find the difference so here is 83.6 and here is 50. it means that I'm, the difference is going to give us what 33.6 now i'm going to record that also and change this mass to 60 and do the same and repeat the same procedure okay for the third round here is it the sense of gravity is fixed at 50 the known the unknown mass is at 0.20 and the known mass this is 60 now 20 20 20 is balanced at 0.77.3 approximately here 77.3 as you can see so now as usual i'm also going to find the balance point so the balance point or the difference rather so 77.3 minus 50 would give me 27.3 so that is what i'm going to record 27.3 for the y for this mass of 60. so as i begin to round off here i have a mass of 70 gram my center of gravity is confirmed at 50 my unknown mass is still confirmed at 20 and then my 70 gram is balanced at 74 so here is it is balanced horizontally so this is what i have so i'm going to find the difference we have here 74 mm -hmm. minus 50 that would give us 24 so it means that for this particular round that the difference y is equal to 24 note that the meter rule is bar balanced horizontally as you can see now i'm going to do two more rounds and then i'll tabulate my readings and those rounds include 80 grams for the known mass and then 90 grams and, and then we would compile our table so here is what we have here this is an 80 gram mass being hung to balance this system our center of gravity still remains the same at 0.50. Here is the 80 gram, gram mass, firmly balanced at 0.70.6, as you can see here. 
here is point seventy point six and our unknown mass is also at twenty so finding the difference between the two here we have seventy point six minus fifty that would give us 20.6 so i'm going to quickly record that and i'll do the last one before we'll see what our table looks like so finally this is what we have a 90 gram mass hung to balance the system our center of gravity also has always been at 0.50 as you have seen the unknown mass also has always been at this 20 cm point so the balance point as you can see here is at 0.67.8 and the difference is 17.8 so while i record this i will tablet the reading and then i will show you the theory um, behind the equation i also plot the graph and reduce the slope and then i will explain the physical meaning of the slope so here is where how the table looks like the constant values are at the top of the table you can see that the center of gravity that we uh, deduced during the experiment is taken down here 50 cm and the value of the distance from the point where the unknown mass is hung to the center of gravity is also noted it's a, it was constant all through the experiment and that was um, 30 cm also noted and then the value of the unknown mass m is also taking note of which is 55 grams now the 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 known masses which we use in the experiment are also arranged in order here 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 as the case may be and then the distance from these known masses to the center of gravity as derived from the experiment are also arranged in the order in which we got them and then we are also expected to find the inverse of this distance and i will tell you how and why we need to find the index in the theory path so if i compute by finding the inverse of this the answers are all values are all taken note of as you can see them tabulated here so with this table now the next thing would be to plot a graph of m the known masses against the inverse of y which is the distance between the mass and the center of gravity and if i plot using the values that you can see from the table um the, here is the graph and this is how it looks like it's a straight line graph that should pass through the origin okay so if i use this graph now to deduce the slope finding the change in m over the change in the inverse of y, I would get that the slope value is 1,621.62 gram cm. Now, the value of this slope is very significant, and I will show you why. Now, recall that from the principle of moments, that the clockwise turning moment about a point is equal to the anti-clockwise turning moment about the same point. So if we apply the principle of moments, you know that the anti-clockwise moment is the unknown mass times distance. The perpendicular distance in this case is the x, as you can see from this theory here. And then for the clockwise turning moment, we have the known mass, small letter m, times the perpendicular distance in this case is our y, which is um, also there. So if we divide through by y we are going to get that the small letter m which is the known mass is equal to the inverse of y times the unknown mass m and uh, also multiplied by the distance s now comparing this with the equation of a straight line graph since um, the, uh, the, the unknown mass m and the distance x are constant through the experiment, it means that if we plot a graph of m against y, 1 over y, we are going to get a straight line with the slope that is equivalent to mx. So the implication of that is that the constant, the, 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 the constant mass m has a value of slope over the distance s. So if we deduce the slope and get the value divided by that constant distance x anything we should get should be equivalent to 
the constant mass that we use for that particular experiment. I remember that while we started the experiment, I mentioned to you that the, un the unknown mass value is about 55 grams, meaning that by the time I compute my slope and divide it with the x, that the value I should get should be equivalent to 55 grams. So let us confirm to see whether this my value is equivalent to 55 grams. So here is what I have. The value of my slope is 1621.62 gram cm. And the x, which was constant all through the experiment, is 30 cm. Now, if I divide these two values, I'm going to get 54.1. Recall that the unknown mass is in the experiment is 55 grams. So there's a difference of 0 0.9. And I believe that you can trace the reason for that difference. Number one is as a result of experimental errors, which could also come as a result of carrying out the experiment or in the deduction of your slope. So in carrying out this experiment, there are some basic precautions that you need to take note of. Number one, you must have to avoid parallax error in reading the meter rule. Then you must have to also avoid draft or wind effect in order to help um, the meter rule to balance horizontally. And then you should also ensure that the masses are not leaning or touching on any surface whatsoever so that you could get accurate result in carrying out the experiment there are some other questions that you should be expected to know or answer as a result of this experiment part of them would be that you explain what is meant by the center of gravity of a body which is the point through which the resultant weight of a body acts from and some other questions that are related to equilibrium of solids or the moment of a force about a point so i'll urge you to go through the precautions again Go through the procedures again if possible conduct the experiment yourself and see whether you could get your answer perfectly um, by taking note of the precautions and then always remember to stay tuned for more other videos that are related to what we are doing